Japan taking out President Obama teeing off. Now, to be fair, not much the leader of this country can do but promise the aid for Japan he already has. While no cameras caught him on tape, he was playing golf and later yucking it up at a gridiron dinner where everybody, to be fair, was laughing. My next guest says he takes nothing away from the president doing these things, just doing them when he did, at a time when it probably would have been wiser he did not. Former deputy assistant to President Bush, Scott Stanzel, says it just makes him look clueless at worst and tone deaf at best. But nevertheless, he did. And, and I'm wondering what the you know, pun intended fallout is now, Scott. What do you think? Well, I think it's a part of an ongoing problem for President Obama. You know, there are many hats that a president has to wear, whether it's commander in chief, whether it's head of the executive branch or working with Congress, but they also have to be comforter in chief and sometimes explainer in chief. And because of his sort of no drama Obama, very cool, cold, detached demeanor, I don't think he does uh, that comforting in chief uh, or those ceremonial duties as well as he could have. Take Saturday as an example. Every week, the President of the United States does a weekly radio address. This week's topic, while it should have been on Japan and the U.S. response to the disaster there, it was about a somewhat obscure bill before Congress that he was trying to make a point on. He missed an opportunity uh, it was on to speak equal to Americans. Pay. You're right, and I thought the timing right. of it was bizarre. It might have been a perfectly fine issue, but now is not the time. Nevertheless, presidents right. always risk looking out of it, right? I mean, President Bush, you know, uh, at the ranch in the middle of a crisis, it could look like he's playing, even though he's he's fully briefed. Uh, we could assume this president fully briefed when a crisis is going on. But what do they have to do then? I mean, uh, do they just have to be hermits? What? No, I think no one's going to begrudge the president of the United States for having trying to have some balance in their life, and they do have to do many different things. You know, it's tradition to. Uh, you know, go to that gridiron sure. dinner, but it's also uh, tradition for presidents to say visit disasters, and that's not something President Obama has done. He never visited really the Tennessee flooding disaster. He was very slow to respond to the Gulf oil spill. Uh, he's even skipped ceremonial things like the Memorial Day ceremony at Arlington National Cemetery. So he has to show more engagement, and I don't think anyone would criticize him. Uh, despite being on the golf course, you know, seemingly more than Tiger Woods and more in his first nine months than President Bush golfed in all eight years of his presidency, uh, I don't think people would begrudge him that opportunity to take some time away from the job if he were showing attention to the big issues of the day and trying to get out in front of them. The but U.S. Do you government think he is doing risks, a lot of great things. I'm sorry, Scott, but do you think he risks, uh, I know he is reluctant to be in that you know, consoler in chief, something that I think Bill Clinton was very good at, George Bush was very mm -hmm. good at, something maybe they even relished doing when they had the opportunity to relate to the people, the very people oriented presidents. Uh, but right. this president felt that that was maybe uh, borderline patronizing and that he would pick and choose his emotional moments, maybe as he did after Gabby Gifford shooting in Arizona, uh, which I think was universally praised. Uh, but do you right. think he needs to do more of that? Is that what you're saying? I am saying that. I, I do think he's, he, he needs to do more of that, and you're right that his response uh, in his speech in Tucson uh, was one of those times that he did demonstrate his ability to uh, uh, comfort the nation after a tragedy such as the shooting of G Gabby Giffords and the others there in Arizona. But he needs to do more of that. And taking the day off essentially on Saturday after one of the biggest disasters uh, in recent times uh, that the world has seen, taking a day off, sort of mailing it in with a, a non-topical radio address and then going golfing is going to create those perception problems that his team really needs to address. He may be thinking about doing that annual uh, March Madness bracket interview that he does with ESPN when, when he really should be probably doing an interview with a U.S. news outlet or even a Japanese news outlet to talk about America's response uh, to the crisis there. Well put. Scott, thank you very much. Scott Stanzel. Seattle, Thank Washington. You, Neil. Appearances count for a lot. And doesn't Toyota know do it? Just discovering a crisis bigger than faulty brake.